Welcome to the Procrastinate Media, my name is Janis, today we're playing EU4 as Russia. We're back with another episode. I had to reinstall the game between the last episode and this one because for some reason when I woke up this morning and went to record the episode, the game would crash every time I would try to basically load anything in it. We're going to take a quick overview of the world. France has absorbed Brittany and more or less is now its full size. Hainaut hey, actually exists over here. And Flemish Patriots are standing over there. Great Britain is formed. Sweden has more or less absorbed Norway completely. Muscovy has absorbed Novgorod and is probably in conflict with Crimea. The Ottomans have started to absorb the Mamraks, which does happen a lot. Portugal has gone into Mali. Castile has been colonizing, so has Portugal. Castile has been colonizing North America, which is weird. And that's about it, what we know. I mean... Aragon is still independent for now. They still aren't in a personal union with Castile. There aren't any weird personal union as far as I know of. The Papal State exists over here. Tuscany is quite big. Austria has expanded weirdly, but it has. Milan has expanded. Switzerland has expanded. That does not happen often. Switzerland usually doesn't go and expand. Actually, it hasn't. Oh yeah, it has. It took Savoy and Valley out of Savoy. Who knew Munster is big and France has been expanding into the HRE, which I'm sure the HRE isn't happy about. I have a history be prepared for you guys today. It's about the Duchy of Prussia, cancelled military rights. There are disputed sessions in Bohemia, Aragon, Sicily, Hainaut, and Luxembourg. There are rebels in Varmia. Our army, if I remember correctly, is... Yeah, the maintenance is set to zero because we are poor. Currently. Maybe Lithuania will come in and take care of our rebels for us? No? No? Lithuania, you're not gonna do that? Are you sure? Because I know you want to. We're gonna leave it for a little bit. We're gonna talk about the Dutch Prussia and then um, we'll see what happens. Brandenburg, relations up to 200, if I remember correctly, we were going to start annexing them, yes. Uh, the HRE won't be happy, because they are never happy. But this will take about 11 years, I think. Moldavia will, will be done much quicker. Hopefully Lithuania comes in. The revolution is in Warsaw. Mazovian nationalists. Of course, they, they're not going to go after the Catholics, because they are Catholic. That's why, and my gen our general is that as well. Can't hire a new one, don't have enough military points. We are going to, well, in that case we're going to raise our army maintenance. <laughs> Send an army into Armia. What can we do? There's nothing we can do. What we will do is talk about the Duchy of Prussia. Which we now are, technically, we're not the Kingdom of Prussia, but, oh well. Duchy Kingdom... Either will do. And more Polish nationalists in southern Miachts. Hopefully Lithuanians go and take care of those as well. I don't want to send my army down there. We are... Uh, we are going to continue converting our provinces. And then all of these nonsense with rebellions and lack of money should end. Hopefully. I noticed during the last episode I peaked quite a bit. Quite a bit when I was recording, my voice peaked. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that's I don't know why I did that. There's nothing I can really do about it. Polish patriots have moved into Kalis. We can never have too much manpower. That is true. That is true. As I said, we are going to talk about the Duchy of Prussia. The German name for the Duchy is um, Herzogum Preussen, and the Latin is Ducatus Prussiae. Which is rather fantastic, if you ask me. They are having issues over here. Bohemia is completely occupied by the Palatinate. I'm gonna move my troops out. Let's see if they move into Kulis then. Yes, they do. There we go. We've won! We can lower our army maintenance again. This is getting a bit ridiculous, I know, but there's nothing I can do about it at the moment, sadly. Anywho, the Duchy of Prussia, it existed from 1525 till 1701, and it existed in this part 
basically half of Warmia, Ostpreußen and Mümmel were the Duchy of Prussia, while Marienburg, Danzig and Kulmerland, I think, were the Royal Prussia. Both were fiefs of the uh, Polish Empire, well, the Kingdom of Poland. Regimental pride. Stay calm and take pride. Our men are proud of the regiments at the best of times, but these days their pride knows no bounds. The healthy competition between regiments means that they are outdoing each other to ensure their own perfection. The really nice thing, they are buying equipment for themselves to ensure that they have the best available, so we don't have to buy it for, the, for them. Stay calm and take pride. Regimental pride for 5 years, land maintenance, modifier minus 25%. Perfect. Hinterpommern is also converted. Let's do the same in Kulmerland. There we go. Revolts are still possible in a lot of states. Should probably boost stabili stability up a little bit. That should. Quell some revolts and we'll harsh treat Mimel and Varmia. Catholic Zerots should be less aggressive then. We now have a little bit of an income, which is good. Think this had relations with Muscovy. St stuff is happening. I don't even have time to talk about. In 1525, Grandmaster Albert of the Teutonic Order, which still existed then, secularized the order's Prussian territories, and the f which were then became the Duchy of Prussia. And he became Duke of Prussia. We have which rebels? Polish patriots. No, don't care. Not ours. Uh, he then became Duke of Prussia. He was the first Duke, Albert Duke of Prussia. That proper German name. Uh, Duke of, Duke of Prussia became a fife of Poland, and its its capital was in Swedenborg Lands, and its capital was in Konigsberg, which is modern-day Kaliningrad. Iron ore quality problem. The one of our iron ore mines has hit some low-quality iron ore. This made the rising of unit more expensive. Infantry cost and cavalry cost go up by 5% for a year. Sweden broke their alliance with us. I'm not a fan. Don't know why. They're bipolar again. They still have an issue. Ah, uh, this is not good. Uh, we'll figure something out. Something will be figured out. Hopefully we don't get attacked by anyone. We will need new allies, though. Moving on, uh, in the tenth on the tenth of December in 1525, the establishment of the Lutheran Church, Duchy of Pru and the Duchy of Prussia, the Duchy of Prussia properly is established and becomes properly uh, becomes properly something or other becomes properly Protestant. I mean to lose the prestige in this case. And they, they did it by declining the church order, which made the Holy Roman Empire and the church incredibly cross. Who would have thought? In the 1st of December in 1526, Duke, the Duke, Duke, Duke Albert married Princess Dorothea, which was the daughter of Friedrich I of Denmark, which ensured his ties with Denmark. He, his brother was also George the Margrave of Brandenburg, and his uncle was Sigismund the first of, first of Poland, so he was he had quite good alliances and had quite a powerful support base. Then going into Neumark. Proved their relations with Sweden up to a hundred in the meantime. Uh, the Duke Duke Albert then died in 1568. His son succeeded to the throne, Albert Friedrich. Joachim the second Hector, who was the elector of uh, Brandenburg, did, but wasn't quite happy with that, so he pushed the king of Poland to uh, push the king of Poland to basically ensure a co-heirship, which meant that the children of the duke and the Noble House of Hohenzollern had co-heirship. It's a complicated thing. I can't really fully explain it. But in the end, it turned out profitable for Brandenburgians. And he succeeded in the co enfeuffment which meant that the person is given land in exchange for the Pledge of Service. Which is good. It worked for them. In the 19th of July 1562, Albert Friedrich is granted homage and... Joachim II and his heirs are made co-heirs by and 
think it is, or maybe it's Sigismund the Third. Poland changed the capital to Belts. Poland, you are changing your capital around way too much. Uh, proof your relations again. Try to get you back up. In 1577, the Margrave George Frederick of Brandenburg Ansbach becomes regent of Prussia when. Who was it, Albert? Frederick becomes a bit. I think he went a bit insane. I'm not quite sure, but he became feeble minded, it says on Wikipedia. <laughs> That it's not, no way it's really properly explained, but that's what it says on Wikipedia. And that then led to Brandenburg, what is referred to as Brandenburg Prussia, which is a personal union between Brandenburg and Prussia. Because in 1618, Duke Albert Friedrich dies with no heirs, so Elector jo jo John, <laughs> John Johann Singismund of Hohenzollern and of Brandenburg becomes the lead legal successor, and a personal union is established. Now, that personal union, uh, it was a personal union, but it wasn't really a proper personal union because Poland didn't quite accept it. It was weird. But then the Thirty Year War broke out and George uh, and John Sigismund died, which meant that George William succeeded to the throne in Brandenburg. And then King of Poland, Sigismund III of Vasa, gave him the duchy, which then the personal union is officially and publicly confirmed. We can have a new idea, revolution and counter-revolution. thought we had revolution and counter-revolution. There we go. With the politics of the time becoming more polarized and more radical, we have no choice but to wage war on governments that are not the same as our own. By embracing it, said, there we can at no cost. Or we can wait for... Uh, wait, which one is it? We can wait for Grand Ship and Shipyard and Road, which I think... Uh, I don't know, actually. We might actually take this one. Because the next one is then diplomatic reputation. We gained a castle raid against the Hansa because we took this. A bunch of discoveries are made. Hinterpommer and revolts in Hinterpommer, and we're going to ignore them. We have our troops stationed there as it is, anyways. So we should be able to win that battle without an issue. Pomeranian nationalist, nonetheless. Which is bizarre because Pomerania, th there are no cords over here. Kulmerland is in the meantime being converted. Uh, improved relations with Poland up to 100. We are going to do, try to do the same with... Uh, actually, we're going to try and get some alliances going on again. Sweden we have a royal marriage with, and so do we with Austria, which is bad, and Poland. Uh, why don't we have an alliance with Poland? There we go. Allies! And we are proclaiming a guarantee on them. How is our improved relations? 88, we're going to improve them a bit more. Get, make sure that they are on our side. Kulmerland has been, in the meantime, converted, so we're going to convert Plock next. We're becoming more and more religiously un unified. Anywho, going on, Frederick William, the great director who ruled the personal union from 1640 to 1688 was, um, I think at first it war against Poland, but then allied with Sweden, and then allied with Poland, and in the Treaty of Echland he was granted full sovereignty over the Duchy of Prussia, which means it was no longer a five of Poland, and in exchange for announcing his alliance with the Swedes, which was easy, and which then led that in 1701 the Duchy of Prussia and the Kingdom of, well, the Margrave of Brandenburg, the Duchy of Mar Brandenburg, uh, became the Kingdom of Prussia because they had territorial sovereignty and that was with the capital in Berlin. In 1772, Prussia also annexed Royal Prussia, which we talked about, it's over here and renames it to West Prussia, while the Duchy of Prussia is renamed into East Prussia. And that's it, what happened with Prussia. That's all I had to talk about. That's the general overview. We can talk about the f later Prussian wars and Prussians' imperial ambitions later, but for now, that's basically it, what, ha what I had prepared for Prussia. We're actually going to move our troops into Fort Pomeran because they've been revolting over there for a while now.
Ardudi has, has arrived home from France. How about I improve relations? 88 as well. But I, I, Prussia is an interesting topic. We are Prussia now, so I did general overview of Prussia. We can get into more detail if you guys want me to go. Uh, I really don't mind looking at more into Prussia. I just did the general overview, kind of went quickly through the history, read the summaries of the history of Prussia, and um, put them in the brief. Sorry, I, I paused the game because I was taking a sip of my coffee, and if you guys can hear me drinking, I'm terribly sorry. I will try to cut it out, but I drink either water or coffee while I record, because otherwise my mouth gets really, really, really dry, and it becomes more and more difficult to talk. We have loans coming due, I know, I know. So we're gonna save up money and try to repay off a few loans. Actually, which is the most revolting province is Plock currently. We're going to drop our army maintenance down a little bit more so that we get a bit more money and a bit more quick. But it, it shows that improving our, uh, our converting provinces and we're getting full tax base because we're now actually making money without having the army maintenance down to zero. We're going to go through this event first because it was the first one to pop up. Naval thought suffering with our attention shifting further from the navy to the army. Some of our, our master ship, shipwrights have decided to seek employment elsewhere. This has caused our shipwrights to suffer. To be expected, we lose 50 diplomatic power, which is bad. And now the Council of Trent. The Pope has invited us to attend the Council of Trent to debate the required reforms to remedy the corruption and other afflictions of the Church. The Church will discuss what constitutes the Protestant heresy and to define Church teaching in the areas of Scripture and tradition, original sin, justification of sacraments, and Eucharist in Holy Mass and the veneration of saints. It will try to answer Protestant disputes by discussing what specifies Catholic doct doctrine on salvation, the sacraments, and Bible canon. We can attend. Papal states' opinion of Prussia changed by 50 or not, and their opinion of Russia changed by minus 50. We will actually attend. I don't mind uh, attending. We are Protestant. We have a say. Our teachings. Whatever. We can't build anything. There are no disputed sessions we can follow up on, or at least try to follow up on. And Plock is, of course, the It's being converted. These past few episodes have been a bit slow episodes. We haven't gone to war, which is it does marvels for our, uh, it's marvelous for our aggressive expansion. They don't like us that much. We're gonna go to view our country again. We have so many diplomatic relations, royal marriage with Sweden. The Sweden still hate us, yes. For no apparent reason, apparently. And... For, uh, and Austria we have a royal marriage with, but they hate us. Maria Theresa the first one Habsburg. And send that army into Stettin, actually give it a leader as well. We should be okay. I think we should be okay. Yeah, we want that. And Brandenburg is joining in. <laughs> So, that's good. We're also still annexing Brandenburg and... Uh, who are we annexing as well? Moldavia. Moldavia is at 70... It's going to be done in 71 and Brandenburg in 74. You, I still want to vassalize you. Gonna find a way. Find a way. How are our relations? If you put five in, that brings us to, we can get up to 160 something, which isn't good enough. So we're going to have to wait for something to go down. I don't know what though. Aggressive expansion. They have a Casas Belly still against us. We are guaranteeing their independence. We can offer them military access. That will bring us up by another 10. So we can get up to 170 now. Heading home from Poland. We are already proclaiming guarantees, so we can't do anything else. But we can have a new economic idea, centralization. We can centralize the state, then we will find easier to advance the ideas and gender of the center over religions. Also advisors plus one. Or we can wait to get Counting House and Spy Agency. I think we'll wait for that. Also, the nation of Hess is requesting that the government 
in their A against Frankfurt and Trier defensive war. Let's check Hess's wars. Frankfurt, currently only Frankfurt and Trier. But these are two separate wars and they have alliances with France. Trier has alliances with France, Castillo, Milan and the Netherlands. France might get involved, which means we would be at war with France. We're going to decline. We're going to be the scumbag <laughs> right now, but we can't afford to go into a war with France at the moment. It simply isn't a suitable thing for us. There we go. France has joined in. France is our ally. So I would much rather keep France as an ally than Hess. Frankly, sometimes you have to make tough decisions, and this was a tough decision. Why do we have no money? Did we pay back a loan? I thought we had a bunch of money. Didn't do anything, did I? Was I being an idiot somewhere and didn't notice? Oh, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. We tried improving relations with Lithuania up to 100. Let's see, let's give them military access. They already have military access because they're in the PU. We can... We couldn't integrate them. I mean, we could. No, they have more provinces than we do. We need 29 provinces at least to get them integrated. But that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know they're a bit slower than the rest. But we kind of have to get our economy back up and get our country converted. And um, yeah, if you have any comments on... Actually, now we're actually in a really good position. Our aggressive expansion is low or non-existent in most nations. Therefore, we are now in a perfect state to start invading stuff again. So if you guys have any ideas on who we should go and invade next and make basically make them our little big put it in the comments below and we'll start working on that our current rivals are bohemia and the hansa we can change that we can add different people in the hansa are allied with sweden great britain and bohemia and bohemia is allied with sweden and the hansa if you guys have any suggestions put them in the comments below if you like this episode don't forget to like comment subscribe and until next time bye bye